We've had some questions from viewers of the Armed Response DVDs as to the real possibility of you lasering yourself as you draw from a shoulder holster, that is, the muzzle crossing the, uh, the arm that's on the side of the shoulder holster. Yes, this is a real possibility, but oddly enough, it's one we're not terribly uncomfortable with. Let me explain why. There is a spectrum of safety that's available to you. On the range, where we have complete control, we can make the rules on the range. We can tell people what to do. We can set up the backstops and the berms and all that kind of stuff. On the range, we can theoretically make it 100% safe. And it's only people not following the rules that would make it unsafe. On the other hand, we don't want to get in the habit of doing things that are completely reckless either. Now, the street is an environment that you don't have complete control over. You can't make it completely safe. And we discussed this in one of the DVDs when we talked about how the rules of gun safety have to be modified for the street. On the street, there is no particular downrange. I mean, there's no really safe direction for a bullet to miss its target. On the street, when you draw a gun, you probably can't help but laser people if there's people all around, in a mall, for instance. So on the street, we have to modify our safety rules a little bit, which means that the safety rules that are redundant with the safety rule we're modifying are what back us up. And we wanna, what we want to do is keep ourselves in this middle area. By necessity, we're going to be a little bit less than 100% safe, but by prudence, we want to be considerably more safe than reckless. Now, inherent in the design of the shoulder holster is that it rides under your offside arm. That means that unless your offside arm is up in an unnatural position, as you draw this gun, it's going to sweep that arm. If the, if the arm is anywhere other than in this unnatural up position, you, it's going to sweep the arm. It's just going to happen. Now, how likely is that? How practical is it for you to try to have your arm up every time you draw? from a shoulder holster? Well, you can do it on the range. We can make arbitrary rules on the range. On the street, it's not so practical because you don't know what you're going to be doing with this off arm. As we've discussed in the DVDs, this off arm is usually going to be involved in something useful while you're drawing the gun. Fending somebody off, protecting your family, opening a door, doing something. It's not likely to be in this up position, this unnaturally up position, so that it's completely clear from the gun. So therefore, fending off my family, trying to fight somebody, when this gun comes out, it may very well laser this arm. That's not ideal, but that's one of the safety trade-offs we have to make when we're talking about real-world applications of the gun. That's why we have multiple safety rules. As I'm drawing this gun from the shoulder holster, my finger should be off the trigger. Remember, that's one of the rules that we didn't modify that, that is, that your finger always stays off the, tri the uh, trigger until the very instant you want that gun to discharge. So if that rule is in place, it makes up for the fact that we sort of have to break the laser rule in some cases. If you remember, in the DVDs, we talked about the fact that much of the time that you're drawing your gun, your hand is going to be out doing something useful in front of you, maybe behind you, maybe shielding your family or grabbing somebody, protecting them from coming forward. When the gun is in a strong side holster and your hand is out here doing something, coming out doesn't necessarily involve any safety trade-off because you don't have to laser yourself in order to draw this gun. You don't have to laser your arm, your weak side arm, while it's doing something useful. However, an inherent trade-off with the shoulder holster is that that lasering becomes a real possibility. Because this gun now rides under your weak side arm, depending on what this weak side arm is doing, shielding somebody, even fending somebody off if it isn't real high. As this gun comes out, there's a real possibility that you could laser your arm while it's doing something very useful for you. This is just an inherent uh, defect, if you like, an inherent fault, an inherent trade-off we have to make when we use a shoulder holster. It's, it's the real-world application of the principle that the street isn't always as safe as the range. Now, that's why we have redundant safety rules. If I'm coming out of this shoulder holster and this hand is doing something useful for me, maybe holding my child back, and I laser myself, what keeps me safe here is the redundant safety rules. In this case, the safety rule that says my finger stays off the trigger until I, the very moment I want that gun to discharge. That safety rule we don't modify. Your finger always stays off the trigger until the very instant the gun is on target and you want the gun to discharge. 
So that's what keeps us safe in this instance. So the very real possibility of lasering yourself as you draw from a shoulder holster, either in a real-world street situation or on the range when you're trying to simulate a real-world street situation, is one of the disadvantages of the shoulder holster. In fact, the propensity of the shoulder holster to cause you to laser large areas around you that you don't really want to is one of the disadvantages we talked about in the DVD. That disadvantage gets even multiplied when you consider the fact that lots of ranges won't allow shoulder holsters on the range for that reason, so you get to practice with them less. Now, in reality, a shoulder holster is essentially just a cross-draw holster worn in a different location. Instead of the shoulder holster, if you can wear a cross-draw holster in the traditional position of a cross-draw holster, you can get most of the advantages of the shoulder holster, that is easy access, easy access while you're seated, etc., without having to deal with most of the disadvantages.